What's going on guys, it's me Shukashu, we are back with another Uma Musume video, and here we are with our last Mihono Bourbon of Templo. At least for recording wise, but for sure I'm just going to be focusing on Suzuka throughout all the off-camera ones. I'd say tomorrow's when I start just making a normal one, or possibly... Possibly replace Suzuka with someone else who's just good with short distance. Maybe a leader or something like that to make it easier, but I'll, I'll decide that by... Saturday, I guess, since Saturday to see him. Well, yeah, Saturday. But here we are, Mihono Bourbon. Decided to run basically the same setup. Three speed, one guts, Taki main, one wise card for her. Because that is the same setup I used to get my US 7. So might as well give it a shot. Did not put a stamina card because most of the, the inheritance is going towards um what is it called going towards stamina so i'm gonna hope that that would be enough to at least reach like 700 ish so i i'll still pick up a recovery skill but at least 700 would be could be good enough i guess but here we are three speed um using the current card because it does have short distance skills uh luckily i i was able to find a asan machan wise card randomly just by looking at it was the first card that showed up so i was like okay this gives me a better opportunity to use a wise card that would be more beneficial rather well i mean not that measure romano's not beneficial obviously her unique effect or skill works out but you know what i'm just gonna go with this setup so yeah with that being said if you guys do want to join the circle the circle id card should be on the screen so if you feel like joining a circle Feel free to join this my I guess my circle. <laughs> Feel free to join my circle and uh yeah, there shouldn't be anything shouldn't be an approval or anything, so just feel free to join and you should be automatically approved. But with that being said, we should get started with the comments. I already got it here nice and prepped and ready. Last comment was 37 minutes ago, so not bad, not bad. We do have a good amount of comments, and the first one is from Nuz. Well, let's see. There are a few comments from Nuz, so we'll go over all of them before we move on to the next one, as per usual. So, starting with the comment, yeah, pretty weird that she is a two-star. I thought they would want to make her bait. I guess they're better for me, so I don't, don't summon. Well, the bait is probably the fact that Pity gives you a choice to pick any Uma. That is the only thing I can think about. So, if they go for it, I honestly probably wouldn't blame them. But at the same time, it's like, I wouldn't want to spend 30k just to, you know... Pity for a character that I wanted, but it's whatever. Uh, next comment says, yeah, I heard a lot about Honkai Star Rail. Never tried it. We'll probably try it, and yeah, I'll look on in the store for gacha games. Hope I'll find something good. And I'll wait for Blue Archive Annie and also try it. Yeah, so I think also a good thing for Star Rail, for, especially for newcomers or new players, um, you manage to pull a character from... A recent banner or anything most likely their materials that you need to get will be most likely somewhere ahead but something that star rail did which which i believe genshin should do as well but i think in genshin for new players they have a teleporter open towards fontaine i think so you could access fontaine but i'm not sure um, I was just, I just heard that, but in Star Rail, you could go to all like the different, uh, domains or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I forgot, Calyxes, I think they were called in Star Rail, but I would just say domains. Uh, you could go to them temporarily without even needing to, uh, unlock it for characters that you probably have that needs mats from different areas. 
So it's pretty helpful. I think that's a pretty good thing that they did for uh, the game itself. So I don't know. Maybe that will <laughs> that will be one thing that'll let you give it a better chance. I don't know. That's pretty much the only thing I can think of, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd say just take a look at the the app store, game store, whatever, and just see if any other games interest you. Because honestly, like I said yesterday, it's just kind of hard to recommend at the same time. I could pretty much just recommend what I play. That's pretty much it. Uh, then on to the next comment. I mean, I like the fact that in Uma, you don't need multiple copies on Uma since, as I mentioned before in Dokkan, you do need them. Eh, pretty harder content, I would say so, but I'm pretty sure even without having multiple dupes to open the... Dude, I forgot. Hidden Potential? <laughs> I thought I had forgotten what it was called. Um, I think it's still highly possible to do it even without dupes. It's just better with dupes. At least that's my personal opinion because <laughs> I have tried some of the harder content and I'll admit, I, I will admit, I've gotten, it's been a hard, it's been hard. A lot of them has been all right, but a lot of them has been kind of hard or I'll just lose so it doesn't necessarily matter at the same time what is this hmm. wise or shoot Uh, but you could have the argument that in Uma you do have support where you need dupes, but yeah, Dokkan's still a pain. I'll keep it there. Hmm. For me, my personal enjoyment when it came to Dokkan was just based on <laughs> pulling characters I wanted and completing as much content of the game I can. Other than that, that's there's nothing much. Although, yes, in Uma, to fully take advantage of getting a better... Training result would have to be with your support cards. Because obviously, if I, I had better support cards, then I probably would have gotten to a UE easier. Which I have, what, nine days before the anniversary to get it before the new scenario. So we'll see what happens. Uh, global global Dokkan is dead at the moment. I also just logged in and logged out on Global sometimes. I do Red Zone, but mainly on JP, so I can use any units. Yeah. I just log in, log out. That's pretty much it. And I think that's pretty much it from Nuz. So thank you for all the comments, Nuz. Next comment is from Nova, and there are a couple of them as well. Let me just make sure I have all of them ready. All right. So first comment from Nova. Thank you for the comment, Tanoki. I mean, not Tanoki, Nuz, by the way. I said Tanoki because I saw his reply in Nova's comment. But Biko who? I literally didn't even know who she was. I didn't even know she was an Uma until now. How can I describe this? The two times I saw, I could probably remember her <laughs> in the anime was one, I believe it was during the OVAs when Vodka and, uh, and Scarlet went to Gold City's like room t and she was working on Amazon's hair. Vodka saw an outfit on the wall, and Biko Pegasus came out of nowhere and tried to kick her. Yeah. The other one, I think, was also in... It was... 
think also in the OVAs, if not, probably in the festival episode in season one. I'm not sure. One of those. But she was performing on stage with said costume. <laughs> I think it was the in the OVA. Because it was during a festival type of deal. Like, I'm assuming during the um, race for B BMW. Yeah, somewhere around there. So unless you didn't see the OVAs, then I'm I won't blame you. <laughs> uh this. What do I want to do here? Sure. Uh but moving on. Build a two-star will be a pass for any banner. Very true. Well, can you even pity Biko? What if you just don't get her after reaching pity? Honestly, if you spent 30k and somehow didn't get Biko once, that'd be crazy. <laughs> that'd be crazy. At least you can say you got a three star, but that'd be crazy. I'm surprised my UE3 Bakushin is doing well in the circle race. Oh, I don't know. What the... What's this? Go? Oh, it's just concentration. Huh. Top one. No S on short distance Sag, but I guess that's the best I got. I want to see if I can get a Zephyr UE in before CM starts. Yeah, for some odd reason, my... Well, not for some odd reason. My Biko and... Uh, my Biko. My Bakushin and... Um, Nihono Bourbon doesn't have it either, so... You're not alone. You're not alone. Uh, I know we all we all expect Duramente to be the banner, but what if she isn't? That's why. <laughs> that's what I've been saying. I'm just expecting it to be Duramente, but I don't know who else it would be. Will the world collapse? It might be the Violent Uma for all we know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think if they did do the Violent Uma, only those who like her will probably pull. <laughs> So, I don't know. But I think maybe just like the half anniversary, there'll be a few other units. Maybe, hopefully. Although. Hold on. Hmm. I actually don't know. Because last year we only got Mr. CB. Whereas for the half anniversary, we got technically three characters in Top Road, Gold Chip, and Daya, her third outfit. Because Top Road wasn't even a Project Lark character, but the two after her were. So we'll see what they plan to do this time for the anniversary. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't know who else it would be if it wasn't Duramente. That's why I feel like if the training scenario is related to Dubai, I feel like it will be Duramente. At least, like, that's what I'm hoping for. But I do tend to avoid IP-based gotchas, even so, even more so if they are run by Crunchyroll. One Punch Man has a 0.2% SSR rate. I'd say it depends on how sweaty you want a gacha game to be. For me, I'm the casual lore enjoyer. Girls Frontline has great lore. BA is very casual. Nikki and Eversoul has culture. And they are idle gachas. Most tryhard gacha right now for me is Uma. Even so, I really don't care for PvP. I am enjoying the Valentine event where I can see Vivlos give me chocolate. Me personally... I don't know. I think as long as I end up enjoying the game and liking it is how I usually stay. Like, regardless if it's like an IP-based game or not. 
as long as I enjoy the game, that's pretty much all I care about. So yeah. Uh, stamina, just so I probably don't have to worry about it a little bit later. A Taiwanese friend of mine was thinking he should be good with his clairvoyance, meaning that he knows all of JP's schedule. Well, honestly, it isn't really hard to find the schedule. All you have to really do is find a release date of the, I mean, yeah, of the characters. Or I guess also the cards. Little did he know that both Uma and support cards are more important. True. Although I give more importance towards the support cards, but Umas do matter at the same time. So, especially if he's still just running the early Umas, then yeah, he's going to need some recent Umas at least. <laughs> I don't think he'll be able to do it with just... Mm. Yeah, he'll still be able to do it, but he won't have an, technically an easier time as getting more recent characters. So, I don't know. Well, I guess if that's his plan, we'll just see how it goes <laughs> for him. At least you'll probably most likely let us know how he does, so we'll, we'll see. But I'll be back in Taiwan in a month or so. I'll be there until mid-April. So I might comment at weird times. All good. Then Tanogi had responded saying, Isn't Uma technically an IP gotcha? Unless I understand the term wrong. No. Nova had responded saying, Uma, ca Uma game came first in the anime, so that's how I view it. Nope. Season 1 came out before the game, because the game came out along basically at the like season two, basically. So you are wrong about that. So yes, Uma is basically an IP. <laughs> I saw it also. Tanoki had said the same thing. Season one was released before the game. Yeah, because when the game started, they already had the anime collab outfit as a second banner, as in the McQueen and Teo outfits, which was season two. So I don't know how you thought the game came out, before the anime because the game came out i think during or after season two so sorry nova you're wrong about that and that would be making that would make uma an ip <laughs> i'm surprised you didn't make sure about that before before replying but i guess you were that confident <laughs> so I don't blame you if that was the case because yeah I'm surprised too because you said you started at the beginning and if you did you would have realized that the season 2 outfits were there in the beginning of the game so that's kind of more surprising to me if anything but it's alright it's alright <laughs> next comment from Nova says speaking of luck drain two ten pulls for Two pulls for Shamane in reverse and one ten pull for an awakened unit in counter side. I'm scared, man. Bro, your luck is literally better in like than me and all other games than I than <laughs> than mine. Whether it's reverse, Uma. I don't even care about counter side, but he still pulled something. <laughs> uh I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. But congrats. Next comment says, if there is a Persona Gacha game coming out, I'm getting all the Lover's Social Link characters. It's going to cost more than Persona 3 Reload. Rumors is that Atlas is remaking all other Persona games. I think we might not have Hitler for a P2 remake, though. We'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Uh... 
Then Ren had responded saying, yeah, look it up. It's called Persona X Phantom. Then Nova, another comment says, no more Ryza? Then yeah, time to uninstall. I do play for Ryza. So, well, I believe Ryza is still there just in the general pool. At least that's what I'm thinking. Because I'm pretty sure there was, those were just raid ups for the characters. Uh, so she should still be available. Because I have gotten a character that I didn't want. <laughs> And yeah, Ryza should still be there. It's just by chance. Because I was able to get a dupe of Resna. Not from the, the original banner they had, but from the recent banner. So you should still get Ryza through luck of re-rolling, which is fairly easy. Because after you do the initial tutorial and all that, all you really need to do is just... Go to the options and it was delete the account. And then it was one of the options. Just delete the account and then it will send you back to the title screen and you could just restart it the whole process without doing the tutorial. So yeah, I think you should still be good for re-rolling if anything, at least that's what I'm assuming, but I haven't, I don't know because I've been, it's been like three weeks since I started playing. You could give it a shot. I would say at least give it a shot just to see if you get Ryza. But I'm pretty sure you could still get Ryza. It'll just be harder. I think there's there's three more comments from Nova. Uh, not sure if you can power through school days, but I was slowly thinking the protagonist should uh, <laughs> unalive himself and then bam, the final episode hit and I'm like, hallelujah. Ah... Uh, I powered through it. I hated it so much early on. And I just ha hated it even more as it went on. <laughs> oh my gosh, 14% and it didn't work. Uh, at least it didn't, I guess. But 14%? Uh, I think this is the second to last comment. I haven't seen the old timer here and I'm relatively new. I missed you, Kimo Cheese. Wait. I'm pretty sure you're... I'm pretty sure you either... Started commenting right before Cheese? Like, literally, not too long after Cheese? Or before Cheese? Or you guys commented at the same time? And... I'd say... I think... Maybe in a few months, it'd be like a year. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly, but I thought you guys were commenting around the same time. Not like a slight gap between each other. At least that's how it. I remember it. Hmm. Other than that, the final comment from Nova says, update on the CM runs. Great. Another UE3 Bakushin with no S in short distance. The grind continues. That's how it is. That's just how it is. And that is pretty much all the comments from Nova. So thank you for all the comments, Nova. I'm sorry that... You have gotten the... Sorry that you thought that the game first came out, then the anime. And that's all I can pretty much say. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, next comment is from... Uh, from Ren. Oh, I was expecting a longer comment from Ren, but I guess not. Uh, 
Well, Rent Comment says, well, I use my monies on a Twinkle series for a guaranteed three star. <laughs> I thought you was going to wait for after the anniversary. But let's see. And I got Bamboo Memory. I'm not sad about it either. So as long as you don't, you're not sad about it. So that means I'm not going to... Huh? I'm... No longer gonna touch the Twinkle series banner is how I read it, but quite different from how you typed it. So I'm just gonna assume that's what you meant. But thank you for the comment, Ren. And next comment, unless there's another one from Ren. But uh, let's see. Next comment is from Tanoki. Has two comments. We'll see if Tanoki adds another comment because the second comment came 14 minutes ago. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But first comment says, I'd imagine that this banner could be an opportunity for a newer free to play who had their favorite Uma banner just happen before they begun. Hmm. But that's assuming that they have 30k for the pity, at least. Assuming that they have 30k for the pity. But not all free to play players would start off just saving. That's the thing. They would most likely use their gems or jewels to pull for more. At least to add some more uh, stuff for their account so they can have, I guess, a variety of other Umas or more support cards, whatever they decide to pull. But I don't know. I could see it being a bait for newer free to play players with that, with that um, um, mindset in mind if it's to lure them to go for pity. But it's only if they started long enough to save 30k. How much did you say you had? I think you said you had 40 in one of your last comments. Yeah, about 47k. I'm pretty sure you have a little bit more than that right now. But yeah, about 50k. I'll just I'll just round it up higher than that. Yeah, you, you did actually for two months. Yeah, 50k. About 50k. That's pretty good. So I'd say, yeah, if they had saved as much. Wait, I'm also thinking because you also started playing during the season three log um, episode bonuses. But that's also another benefit you had. Hmm. Yeah, I would probably give them at least three months, if anything. For them to try and go for 30k. Or maybe a bait to have them spend money. That could be also a thing. I could see that also. Which could be also what you meant, so. Um, the obvious choice is still to skip. But if someone can never get a choose Uma, Uma ticket, I could see this being tempting. I wonder if Games is planning a targeted carrot attack on some newer free-to-play players and hit them with this then an insane Annie banner to get them over the first purchase mental barrier, after which they'd be more likely to make further purchases. That is also, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it could be a way to <laughs> get free-to-play players to use what jewels they have on this banner. Well, actually, if you think about it, I think, hmm, I think, let's just say if newer free-to-play players were to start, like, this month, like, earlier this month, and they realized the anniversary was coming out in a few weeks, I think 
they would probably just start a whole new account. Probably. Probably. But if it was older slash, I don't know, like newer free to play players, like a couple months or a few months, I could see it happening. That's for sure. But yeah, that makes total sense. That makes total sense. Because anniversary, they have all these bundles and all that, so it'll be extra tempting. <laughs> extra tempting to try and get those bundles for the newer players, turning them from free to play to paid players, basically. Whether they just be dolphins or turn into whales. And then on to the second comment from Tanoki. Let's see. Well, let me just make sure there aren't any other comments. Okay, on to the second comment from Tanoki. After I take a look at this. What do you mean that way? Dude, if I could only remember. <laughs> I speed. I speed. One speed, three guts is very much a setup for raceable Umas. Well, I guess it depends on the... The... The race distance and... Maybe the growth rate. Because I could see one speed, three guts working perfectly for Twin Turbo because of her high growth rate on speed. Um... But let's say it feels for a character that doesn't have any growth rate on speed or guts to say that. Maybe they have it on power and stamina or wise instead. Then having more speed cards would be more beneficial than still running three guts because you won't have any extra bonuses. You won't have that extra bonus to help raise speed a little bit more. And... I doubt Guts would help you get close to maxing out without, like, any growth rates and all that. So, yeah, that's why I, I don't know really what I meant by that way. I would have to go back to the video. <laughs> I would have to go back to the video. Um, Because my mindset when it comes to setting up, I always have to have at least two speed cards. I've always mentioned that I never really tried one speed card. I've always, if you look at my past setups from a long time ago, it still has at least two speed, even from like Grandmasters and all that. So that's just based off what I personally think is probably what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't tried it out. That's the only thing. Because I've been focused on the setups I currently have. And I haven't really trained any other Umas besides the ones I have prepared for set events. So that's probably another reason why. That I don't really expand too much on the setups I use. Unless it's like switching around like from Great Escape to Normal Escape. Or depending on my inheritance. Is like how I'm using 3 speed here. But yesterday I was using... Was I using 2 speed, 2 stamina? I think I was for Great Escape. And then for Soccer Bakush, and I was using 2 speed, 2 guts as well. So, yeah, it pretty much just depends on the situation for me. Uh, but most likely my default is at least having 2 speed. 2 speed. And then every everything else, well, I guess besides the like friend or group card, everything else will be depending on the situation for me. At least, that that is for me. So... Yeah, I never really tried any three guts or the, the guts, pure guts setup, basically, or or max guts setup. I don't know. I never really tried that or the wise one and just simply stuck out us. Uh, just kept using these setups I felt more comfortable with. But that's just me. That's just me. And also setups that like Eugen and the other and you others have mentioned now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not. I do apologize if when I said that way, it seems like I was, you know, it sounds like bad or anything. 
No, I didn't really mean it that way. <laughs> it was just more like, I don't know what I was thinking at the moment, but yeah, I didn't really mean it in a bad way. If you took it that way, I do apologize. It was just, I don't know. Maybe I said it wrong. Or in a different way where it sounded like it. So I do apologize. But continuing on with the comment as I do all of this. Um, not the same as the wise thing. If I could, I would actually build this way for the CM as it is a viable build for short and mile. I could see it being viable for short and distance. That's that's pretty much why. But uh, because of the shorter distance, but you would still need to require having a, for CM at, at least max speed. That's why I always go with more speed than having more guts. But I could see three guts working if it all works out. You know, that's just my mindset, at least. <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. Um, unfortunately, I just didn't have my second guts card up. Hence, my parent Umas were all built with inheritance for two speed, two guts, or three speed, one guts build. Though you are right that you can't build great escapes. With that setup, yes. But I think at that time we were just talking about Twin Turbo. So I, I may have just based it off Twin Turbo, if anything. And I think Twin Turbo as a great escape would be the best way to set her up. And that was probably why I may have said that way. I guess, because, yeah, that's probably why I said it that way, I guess. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't mean it in a, like, a bad or offensive way. We didn't win the race. It's been so long since I haven't won the race. It's been a long time. Jeez. Well, looks like it's a dead run, guys. Looks like it's a dead run. Badly. Badly. Oh, well. Uh, but any anyways, thank you for the comments, Tanoki. We appreciate them as always. Like I said, sorry if I offended you in any way, anyhow, with the way I respond responded to your comments from yesterday's video about the setup. I do apologize. Uh, but regardless, thank you for the comment. As always, I do appreciate the support and that goes for everyone. Uh, let's see. I'm just making sure there's no other comments from Eugen before I go over Eugen's comment comment. Oh, it looks like Eugen's comment is the last one. So. I'll go over it now. It says, I, cho I chose Manhattan Cafe and Gold City support cards if I'm going to pull. It's, well, for me, the reason why I chose Alcondor Pasa is because I just need better a better speed card. Excuse me. With my best one being Kido right now because she's the max limit broken one and hopefully Duramente soon because I I would like to have her max limit broken because I'm still using her regardless. Uh, But it's half TP time until next month. So I guess I'll grind for more factors after seeing some more contribution to these circles points. Yeah, I'll probably do a lot more off camera runs just to more than five to tr try to make more than five before the CM just to really capitalize on trying to s get something good out of it from Suzuka. Suzuka. Um, regarding to the pity, when I what I mean to say it's strong because you can pick any if you feel like to pull any Uma. I need to start with only a few, so most chances you get a new Uma. True. True. But with the whole general pool, you still have... You do have a higher chance of getting a relatively recent Uma that's been released. But 
you still have a chance of getting the older Umas, which is still... <laughs> it would suck if that wasn't what they're going for. Uh, I can say it's still at least strong that you can choose any. What we're talking about pity only with the cost of 30k, but yeah, I just, that would be, I guess, one of the strong points. I won't deny that it's not worth if it's not specific banner, especially if you were trying to pull less with luck. Very true. Very true. I just, I don't, I just don't think it's worth pulling on a two star banner, regardless of the free of choice and pity. And I guess the chance to get a, I guess multiple characters as you're going towards the pity. I just can't. I just don't see it. <laughs> I could see. I could honestly see like a couple people doing it out of like thousands, but I just don't see it. It's just not worth it. And I didn't mean pulling for the sake of Biko Pegasus. I'm just looking like I can spend 30k just to overcome my nightmare with Daichi Ruby. Like I said. If you spent that 30k and you still didn't end up getting Daichi Ruby randomly off that 30k, then of course you'll use that pity for Daichi Ruby, I would assume. <laughs> I would assume. Uh, but, but yeah, it's support card that is much worth pulling for this update banner. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because of the options that they have laid out for us. Pretty good options, I'd say. But then again, we don't know what they're, you know, planning to put in the support cards banner for the anniversary, and we don't know how good they're going to be. Well, one of them should definitely be the group card, which I'm confident it will be a group card because of based off the past anniversaries, like I said yesterday. So most likely a group card and... I guess another card. Don't know what it would be. So we'll just wait the next nine days and see how it's going to go. But other than that, thank you for all the comments. Tanoki, Eugen, Nova, Ren, Nuz. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going to just say it again. Thank you for all the comments once again. <laughs> Uh, Nuz, Nova, Ren, Tanoki, and Eugen. Thank you. For all the support and all that. I thank you. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. But other than that, yeah. I will check the comments towards the end of the video again. Just to see if one more guy got snuck in at the last minute. But other than that. Here we are basically towards the end of the run that doesn't really matter because we didn't win the race and our stats aren't that great. Well, at least it doesn't look that great. Right? Yeah, it's, it's all right. It is nothing too special. Uh, but anyway, let's see. What have I been up to? On my free time, at least. <laughs> On my free time. Uh, I've watched some anime recently. I don't think I've gave an update on that. I think the last thing I said about an anime was the attack on junior high. Honestly, it was a pretty funny watch, so I didn't mind that at all. It was funny just seeing scenes taken from the anime being shown differently in that's in, in the junior high one. So it was pretty enjoyable. And also a lot of the scenes were funny. So that was fun. 
Uh, but let's see. What have I watched recently? I had watched... Take a look. I watched a campfire cooking in another world. Honestly, it was... It was not bad. It was not bad. It's like I said a long oh a while ago that I just randomly watched these isekai uh, animes with you no know, campfire cooking another world and all the other ones that says in another world, and they all have been pretty decent. Not gonna lie. Uh, but that's the one. Oh no, I finished that last night. I am currently watching Zom One Hundred. Because I've been wait, I was, I just, I've been holding off this whole time, and I can say that I am enjoying it. I think I am about halfway through, and I'm pretty sure, just like everyone, just like everyone, I have ended up liking Chizuka. So, huh? <laughs> what else have I watched? Did I watch anything else before the campfire one? Uh, don't know. I know I'm waiting for the. The Banish from the Heroes Party season two. I know I'm waiting for that one. Mm, I don't think I watch anything else. Did I not? I actually don't know. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Um, I haven't played any other games besides my my gotcha, the gotcha games I play and our world. Uh, did I meant like I guess it was pretty obvious that I finish Doctor Stone if I didn't mention it. Uh, just letting solo leveling finish off as I wait. Hmm. Yeah, at the top of my head, I don't remember at the moment. Besides, like, animes I haven't... I've been wanting to watch, but... Eh. Oh, I guess, uh, Classroom of the Elite. I think it's at episode 7. But I am gonna rewatch it, because it's been a while. And I haven't seen season 2. So, I might as well just rewatch season 1. Uh... I don't think this will be worth it, but it's okay. It doesn't even matter. Uh, do I dare try to win? Like, I just, I'll just pick out some skills at this point. Uh, is there any other runner? No, there isn't really. Okay, sure. I wonder how many skills I had gotten. Well, let's see if we win this race. And here we are at the end. Sorry, I was just looking at other animes, but eh. Uh, I already checked the comments right now, and there aren't any new comments, so I'm expecting no more comments. Unless somehow Tanoki squeezes in another comment. <laughs> somehow. Then I'll go over it. But other than that, uh, let me just pick up the skills, and we should... The rest of the skills, and we should be good. Mm, let's see... 
I guess we can just grab the short distance skills, but it ain't even gonna matter because I'm not using this Mihono Bourbon. So I'll just pick out whatever I can and I'll be it. Oh, that's 144. Hmm, how much are the green skills? Cause I could probably just pick up two random ones. Yep. Well, we ended off with 1321 speed, 817 stamina, 1039 power, 1054 guts, and 1171 on wise. Did not get an S in any aptitudes, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> that is pretty much it. Uh, this run was pretty much dead by the time we lost. I lost that race. So, UG five. Well, I can't blame it. I didn't have any other stats higher than twelve hundred. Did get fairly enough good amount of skills, I guess. Four, eight, twelve, twenty skills. Twenty. That's including the um. Unique skill, so I guess twenty's not bad, but or, but I just didn't have the stats. Although this was the same setup I had to use, except with a different third speed card and a different wise card, so maybe I just need a better RNG. As always, a better RNG. But with that being said, guys, that is gonna be the end of this video. If you guys didn't make it this far, I didn't want to say thank you. Hold on. <laughs> Ren had just sent me a comment saying, if you don't mind, I'll be sending a message to your Twitter. Since YouTube still remains foul. Oh, all right. That's totally fine. <laughs> At least you let me know. Cause then it gives me a reason to go to Twitter. <laughs> um... But yeah, as I was saying, if you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you. If you guys can, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I guess let me know how your CM teams are, because it sounds like a lot of us are actually not completely ready. Now give me a... But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, just leave a comment down. Let me know how you guys are doing now with your CMs after a couple more runs, I'm assuming, or runs throughout the day. And also, I guess updates on any anime or I guess manga for those who read manga that you guys have recently picked up. And any other things you guys want to talk about. And just like always, just like in the beginning of the video, if you guys do want to join the circle, ID cards up here uh, should be open to anyone as long as, you know, just want to join and all that but with that being said guys thank you once again and as always i'll see you in the next one peace